I'm Michelle Routh, and this is Finlandia Fridays. Welcome to Finlandia Fridays. My name is Michael Babcock. I'm your host for this weekly interview series here at Finland University. This week we are joined by a new person here, a new face here at Finland University. Michelle Routh, welcome to the show. Thank you. We are happy to have you. You joined us. Um, you actually joined Finland University in uh, late 2018, but you've been working from uh, from afar. Actually, working in Arizona, you got to uh, well, you, you got to miss our beautiful winter this winter, which was awesome. The snow was everywhere, and we we enjoyed it. Um, but we'll get you next winter here for this. That'll be fun. Um, but you are here as our director of innovative and innovative and online learning. Tell us a little bit about that, and um, welcome to the show. Uh, thank you, and I'm glad to be here. It's definitely an adventure, and I'm looking forward to the experience. Um, well, the position itself is a really wonderful one. I'm, I'm, I've got a strong background in building programs from Ground Zero, and I've done it for, well, three times, and this is be time number four. This is going to be the last, though, by the I way. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with just the changes of moving. Um, either way, uh, it just involves a lot of building at the beginning stages where there's involvement, um, getting to know the faculty, trying to figure out how to reach what their goals are because they're all going to be different, and making sure that the online is consistent with the uh, traditional classroom. Um, the goal is to make sure that all of it remains the same and we do not remove anything, um, allowing students to feel that experience of the in-person class and um, just being able to be part of a collaborative community. So um, just knowing that I get to build it, the classes, uh, be part of it, um, working with the faculty chairs and instructors as well and building and making it better. Excellent. And I, online learning is something that's really changed um, higher education and actually even, even K-12 quite a bit over the last uh, 10 years, and it's something that we've been doing for kind of a long time. Our R&D BSN program's been online for, um, fully online now for five or six years. Mm -hmm. um, but we, we, you know, we have, we've had online classes. We've had classes that are, uh, what do you guys call them, where they go online and offline? Hybrid. Hybrid. So we've had hybrid classes for quite a while. Um, so our students are used to this, but mm -hmm. what, what I like about what you're doing it is, is we're really investing in, in having an online product that we can stand by, and students could do without having to come to campus ever. Correct. Um, you know, and having a bunch of different classes like that, which would be a lot of fun. So, um, which brings me to my, my first question for you then. What makes you passionate about online learning? Well, it's more of a, I would say, a personal thing. Um, when I was in college, there was a lot of uh, hesitation. I was a little bit shy. didn't really want to ask some of the questions. I didn't feel comfortable. Um, so, the online environment allows a student to gather all of the same content with you know, video lectures that are done by the professor, entered into the classroom so they can review them at their own time, and then ask the questions that they're seeking and not feel like, oh, so-and-so is watching me. But in, in addition, I can go back to it and refer to, did I really get what was just said? Rather than in the, online, or the regular classroom, I find that I'll question and not really get it. Right. Um, not that the traditional uh, is really any different, it's just, we can do it on our time. So I found that as a gain for me. Um, and then I've also been able to find that integration of the visual, kinesthetic, and auditory learners. It's all in one. Mm -hmm. And there's not one teaching style that meets us all and then our learning abilities. So it helped me. And I was able to now lead others to gain the same. And um, I'm finding some smiles and some positive results, that's for sure. <laughs> that's good to hear. It, it, is a, it is an interesting experience. I'm going for my master's uh, myself online, so I've been going through a lot of these good. classes too. Um, and I, So I know the benefits that was for me, um, but for you, what do you hope students get out of these, these online learning experiences? Well, uh, the most important thing is that we ensure that these classes are, they mirror the traditional classroom, so that we as a university stay a unity and not divide into a, a traditional online. Well, yeah, the modality might be different, but the content and assessments are all the same, so the students can gain the identical content. They're not looking and getting, you know, one set of assessments or, you know, not as much. Right. It's, it's quality and it's, it's the same stuff, so. Excellent. Um, and and this, is, this is all just a start. Michelle just began here um, late 2018, as I mentioned already. Um, but there's a lot that's going to be happening here with Finlandia over the next couple of years. When, when you think about that, you think about two years from now, where do you see Finlandia and its online offerings being? 
Well, from my experience, my professional experience, um, <laughs> I see us going even above where I've been um, because of the time spent doing it. Well, I've, I've come from the past where, you know, we weren't really recognized and then all of a sudden we're recognized as number six, then the following year, number one. I think we're going to do the same thing and right. it's going to be fun. Um, so I do see that for us. I see us reaching these learners and helping them put these things into real world experiences so right. they're not just coming and reading some content and mm -hmm. then responding, whoop de doo it's, right. it's about actually applying it, doing it. Um, how does it benefit you in your career tomorrow? Right. So I see a lot. I see a lot. <laughs> that is, I, I like the way that sounds. And it's, um, you know, and, and it's to Finlandia's perspective, it's going to be really important because there are students all over the Upper Peninsula that you know, they want to go to college. You know, I think of somebody that might mm -hmm. be in Ontonagon, which is an hour from here, or Rapid River, which is three hours from here. Yeah. They don't have a school that's right there for them. Right. And and if Finlandia can can get this online offering, we can be that school for those students who exactly. right now don't really have that opportunity as much. Despite the fact that there's a lot of online options that they haven't heard of, it's nice to have a, a brand you're familiar with and a campus that you can actually go visit if you needed to that's only, you know, a couple hours away. Okay. Um, and, and it brings me to, let's, let's actually start with talking about some of your successes. We'll go... We'll go right into, like, um, you know, you worked at Grand Canyon University. You've done some work with uh, Arizona State University. But the story that I like the best, and you hinted at, is, is the work you did with Arizona Christian University, a school that's not much bigger than what we are. Um, they're located down near Phoenix, correct? Mm -hmm. um, talk a little bit about the work you did there. Um, well, that was my biggest enjoyment. I'll just admit that I love the team um, that I got to hire. And then, of course, my boss, he was amazing, supportive. Um, he allowed me to use my experience and my creativeness. Um, remember, I do come from building a preschool that ended up in Montessori, that ended up most popular in the city. It, became, it was a town, became a city. It's, it's something I love doing. So um, he just let me go full force. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we started off with 10 students. I enrolled them all, put them in the classrooms. And then uh, we ended up with 25, like the next eight weeks. And then... Um, we ended up with 75, we went up and up and up, and gradually we're, we're just booming. But what we're seeing is that um, we're not like all universities online. I require my team to be actively involved, video lectures, Zoom meetings, uh, things that we do with the students are not just an essay. Yeah, we need to write an essay, of course, show that you can write, but do it. Show us that you can do it. We mm -hmm. use programs like Flipgrid and, and voice threads and, and different integration screencasts and use it in the classroom. Um, so we're really making sure they get that, but that's only because of the ability to be free and innovative, right. just like the title says, innovative. Excellent. And I know that, I mean, just as the proof of success that, um, you know, two years ago, as you said, you were ranked number six in Arizona, mm -hmm. or the Arizona Christian University was ranked number six um, for online learning. Named number one in 2017, I believe it was. Last year. Yeah, yeah that's a really impressive <laughs> jump, and I'm looking forward to, to seeing you do that um, here at Finlandia as well. It wasn't me. <laughs> it, well, it takes a team, and that's, um, you know, and you have yeah. that here as well, and it'll be interesting to see where we go with that. Um, I do also want to talk, we mentioned your name, but I did, I did not call you Dr. Michelle Rauch. You're, you're, you're a doctor. Tell us about your education. Ah. <laughs> well, I had three children during my doctoral years. <laughs> I was, yeah, it was a, a tough experience. Sure. Don't want to revisit those days, but um, yeah, I, I've definitely got my doctorate. It's, in ed, it's higher education, but it is in leadership. Um, curriculum instruction is really my strong background. I, uh, you know, I, I look at more like a servant leader. I don't, you know, go, hey, you have to do this. Right. Lead by example. Mm -hmm. So whatever doctor, I just prefer Michelle. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> um, well, thank you so much for doing this, uh, this episode, and welcome to Finlandia. Thank you. All right. Very nice. And we will see you guys next Friday.